guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video is about um, the six giant strawberry colossus plug plants that we ordered from eBay but the center is called you garden and um, we ordered this no 20 no March and it arrived on the 23rd of March for the six plants it cost a total of 12 pounds 99 or two pounds 16 each so if you're gonna buy this from the garden center and it's already like um, you know like a medium sized plant it would normally cost you around three pounds or four pounds so it depends of the variety and where you buy it from and that amount includes the postage and package and as you can see, they really packed this well. Of course, um, the, act the actual box um, has uh, this um, thing specified that it's actually a live plant and they should handle it with care. And also, um, they put all the plants in the plastic container so for extra protection and to secure it so it doesn't move about so the plants um the plug plants actually looks um you know it's a good size and uh, as you can see the roots are actually um, you know good sizes and um, established and although they have um, packed this and it's in this co plastic container um, i can see there's some broken stems and it looks like they cut some of the leaves so it probably just for the purpose of it doesn't dangled outside the this box so but altogether um i think the the uh, the condition and the size of the roots as i've said uh, you know they are good condition and uh, yeah i am pleased with this one aside from obviously few broken stems but um i'm sure they'll be fine so you know um as i've said i am really pleased with this so this is um a sweet colossus and traditionally this is um june bearing strawberries so and this is a giant one so that's why i'm excited because first time ko magkakaroon ng ganitong strawberry and according to this information it of, um, often weighs more than 40 gram each so can you imagine that that's quite big according to their planting and flowering calendar from march to april is the perfect time to actually plant this and it uh, flowering time is april to may and the fruiting time is may to july so um let's begin as it's a perfect time to plant this for the time being i'm gonna be using this trough to plant um the strawberries and but um, any containers that you will use just make sure they've got plenty of drainage as um, strawberries doesn't like to be sitting in um, you know in a very wet uh, you know compost for a long time and uh, if you decided to plant them outdoors you can do so once all the risk of the frost has gone I'm using a multi-purpose compost here and also I'll be adding some miracle Grow fertilizer so just to be clear now I don't get paid um, you know by um, mentioning uh, this fertilizer and I wouldn't um, recommend to say that this is only one that you can use but obviously there are more other uh, fertilizers available that you can use uh, any vegetables or fruit um, fertilizer that can do but um, I'm not the expert here it's just uh, I'm just sharing my personal experience that um, using that fertilizer is actually you know worked well for me so um, so I'm only just adding some of this in the soil just to make it um, you know add moisture and add nutrients back to the soil so I'm just going to use my um, hand to um, make a hole for enough uh, for this uh, plug plant so when you um, plant them you can just push it gently down and still making sure the crown is still um, above the uh, soil so it's not buried completely also based on the instruction in in here that uh, you should allow 45 centimeters or 18 inches apart and leaving between the rows of 75 centimeters or 30 inches so as you can see in here um, there's not enough space in this trough but i have ordered something for for my uh, strawberries especially for this one so they will definitely have that space 
so that's all been planted now and um, just to say that I'm really really happy with this and I would like to summarize what I liked about this so first is uh, it, um, it they delivered it so quickly and it only took a couple of days and the second is the packaging so I liked it as you have seen that they um, labeled it properly that it's a live uh, plant and um, the inside as well they they put it in a container so it, it is to protect the uh, the plants although there's some few broken um, stems but that doesn't matter much because um, I'm looking at the the quality and the health of um, the, the roots as um, you know I think they're all okay and the size is a good size and the the third one is I think it's a good value for money and for those people who asked me before where I normally get my strawberries from, I would recommend going to your nearest um, garden centers and sometimes they could be available from the market. Or you can try this option of ordering them online but please make sure that you actually read all the reviews and the comments from different customers just to make sure that you are getting the right thing and you're getting the good value for your money. Just a quick update of what it looks like now. So today is the 2nd of April 2021 and so it's only been 9 days since the last I planted the um, you know the, the, the plants. As you can see they have grown a bit and um, they've now got a lot of uh, leaves and um, at the moment they are in lean to i haven't put them outside in the garden yet because uh, it's still a bit cold outside it's just the way the temperatures suddenly dropped for you know and i will also need to be replanting them anyway because i have um you know planters coming for them and uh I will keep you updated and once um, you know I am really looking forward to harvesting my first strawberries uh, you know giant strawberries this year and uh, you know I really hope you find this uh, video useful and if you did please don't forget to click the like button and I hope to see you in my next video thanks again guys bye bye